A lot of people in Anchorage, Alaska feel the need that there should be more interchanges than intersections. Well, there's places in here that are in a big need of it. Part of it is a safety issue with pedestrians and traffic, and it's and, and it does kind of get pretty hard sometimes. Here at Northern Lights Benson Boulevard and Seward Highway, it does seem like a pretty tough way to go because of some situations. There's hardly any place to cross the street between um, Sears Mall and Fred Meyer here, and uh, many people have either lost their lives or been seriously injured trying to trying trying to, trying to handle the situation. And that isn't good at all. So what they'll have to do is um is they'll have to make a couple of um skywalks that go between Sears Mall, Sears Mall and um, Fred Meyer, and then basically kind of make it so there's not a lot of stopping required. So what you see here at Northern Lights, Benson Boulevard, and Seward Highway would be just the appropriate type of interchange that will fit in the area. It's not going to affect the circus grounds near the area or any of the businesses. I mean, you basically, coming from the, from, I'm going southbound, take the first right and you go west on Northern Lights Boulevard. Second left, it would take you eastbound on Northern Lights Boulevard. And just the opposite would happen going northbound on Seward Highway. Northern Lights Boulevard, you take, you go to the right and you go, you go north on Seward Highway into Ingress Street. Whereas if you take the left, you go south. And just the opposite happens going east on Northern Lights Boulevard. This one, Northwood Street, there's no way an interchange will fit. And so this one will just go straight over the over International Airport Road without without any connection to the highway. The old frontage road won't even be needed anymore and they could put it to a bike trail and it would make it a lot easier to get through. And then the service track between the main Alaska Railroad and the and the airport would would probably be able to make it through. The bike trail will make it through just as good. Here at um, Jewel Lake Spinard Road and um, International Airport Road, as you've seen, that intersection is extremely dangerous. It's very hard to get across. Not to mention, you know, with International Airport being very busy and trains going by, it kind of blocks the traffic too much. And that's not good because then people can't get to the airport on time. So there's really... So International Airport is actually supposed to be going over that track so the trains can go through. And so is um, Spinard Road in the area. It's supposed to go over so that we can... Yeah make it easy. Then the intersection, well the interchange here, having a split ramp is so that Spinard Road and Jewel Lake Road, you only have to stop once when going over the free over the International Airport Road. It would make it easier because then you can turn left and go to the airport or go back into town going the other way. Or when you come to the exit um, from the road you can also um, head on down with the one of the two roads, Spinard or Jewel Lake, would make it a lot easier because then, yeah, and then for pedestrian wise they can create a whole new um, bridge at, over here as well as over by Northwood, the tunnel under Northwood. You can get across a lot easier. Here by the airport, um, on Postmark Drive, we can actually um, we can actually take the we can have an interchange here. There's already one that goes this way as it is, and so this one will actually help you turn left if need be. And then this one, yeah, could help you get to and from the airport a lot easier. Yeah, and basically the traffic could just keep going and never need to stop, no matter what. 
Anchorage International Airport has grown quite a lot, and they've had to make better access for almost everything. It's got a new train station. It's got a, it's got a new terminals. North and um, Central are already connected as it is. This is um, 36th Avenue and Seward Highway. It, it looks like a pretty heavy, um, heavy street to get across as a pedestrian or skater or biker. It's really not all that safe either. A lot of people have been able to get halfway across and then they've had to start over and try again. Of course that may eventually come to an end because because the new um the new overbridge will actually consist of going yeah around um the the way of um of the interchange here it'll go there's one west way around one east way around no one north way around and one south way around and that will and that'll make it a lot easier to get through town and the Tudor Road bridge over Seward Highway is perfectly safe too there's nothing wrong with that now this is O'Malley Junction here at O'Malley Center as you might have noticed it's still kind of the same diamond interchange but because um, it's the roads become an expressway and people have needed access to get across They'll have to change um, um, O'Malley Road and Seward Highway to a to an interchange to a cloverleaf interchange like this to make it easier to go around. And then you just simply switch highways without having to stop. And then the intersection of O'Malley Road and Old Seward Highway will become an interchange of them, of them, both um, of of like. Mm. Like these turns here, like an, an exit ramp to get off when going westbound, and then an entry ramp to go on when going eastbound, like that. Then it doesn't have to interfere with O'Malley Center and can just keep going, going through. And O'Malley Center Drive can go up over and connect to the other way. Some things will probably practically stay the same. So. You make sure you get enough um, silver yogurt container lids to donate. Do the same with the golden twist tabs and the and the shot needle caps of both white and orange. And then you'll eventually be able to get the money to finish this. And it'll keep us tied over until enough people have graduated from school, made a successful change. Yeah, to be able to. Yeah, to actually be able to to be a construction worker, then eventually you'll be able to make your way over to yeah, and we'll be able to have enough neurophysicists to be able to make sure that for required genetic abilities that aren't there to be able to learn, there's an artificial backup to get it. Yeah, just remember the the response of you don't know anything about it is not going to be taken cuz it'll just make you look greedy instead of um instead of generous and that's never nice at all